Well, showers moved through the parts of the region this afternoon and this evening. More wet weather could be on the way. Chief Meteorologist Kate Bilo tracking it all. If we have rain, we'll just have to sit back and watch the new movie. I love that idea. Looks fantastic. I have a few that boys I think good. that'll enjoy watching that. Yes, one. movie night. Indeed. All right, let's talk about a couple of shower chances. Now, we're not talking heavy downpours, and best of all, we're not talking severe weather here over the next couple of days at least. Mainly just some scattered showers. It may start off a bit messy on your Thursday morning. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. Here's a look outside. Speaking of a little messy, we do have a little bit of rain falling around the city. It's relatively light. It has started to taper off. In fact, this hour, uh, 11 o'clock at the airport, no longer reporting any rain, but some light drizzle outside still. It's 71 with a dew point of 64, which is very high compared with this time yesterday when dew points were still in the 40s in many spots. That just indicates that humidity has been rising and rising. So shower still around through the rest of this evening and into the overnight hours. Maybe a rumble of thunder here and there. Warm and humid as temperatures head to the upper 80s tomorrow. And then we've got two more fronts to track. One Thursday, one Saturday. And we're going to gradually step down the heat once again through the end of the week and the weekend. But it does look like the weekend is going to start a bit wet. Unsettled and a bit cooler on Saturday. I don't think it's a total washout, but it will be kind of cloudy and cool with shower chances on and off throughout your Saturday. Storm scan three showing this cold front. Now, the actual front is starting to push through central Pennsylvania. You can see we've had a couple of scattered showers out there this evening. This front will come through overnight. But as you can see, it's really starting to fizzle quite a bit. There may be a couple of showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. I think most of us don't see much more than a sprinkle or two overnight. 68 degrees the overnight low, mostly cloudy, humid, and breezy as we await the arrival of that front. Now, tomorrow we're in between systems, so the front clears in the morning. Our next front comes through Thursday morning, but in the middle, Tomorrow we'll see some sun. It's a warm and slightly more humid day with a high of 87 degrees for your Wednesday. So timing this out, here's overnight. You can see a couple of showers may survive, but by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, it's off the coast. Skies are clearing. It's a dry afternoon. By tomorrow night into Thursday morning, though, here comes our next system starting to lift in from the south and west. And a few scattered showers and storms will break out overnight, but the best chance is right here in the morning, 5.30 a.m., a line of rain and thunder rolling on through. The good news is we get it over with early, right? So Thursday afternoon, we clear out, breezy with the sun returning, and Friday looks like a beautiful day. Friday is dry, but then here comes our next system on Saturday, bringing yet another chance for scattered showers and perhaps a thunderstorm. So ups and downs here in the forecast. Some sun tomorrow, a little more steamy. Thursday starts with morning thunderstorms. Then Friday is beautiful. Saturday is cooler with showers and storms. Then clearing and turning mostly sunny on Sunday. A really nice start to next week. Low 80s, seasonable with sunshine returning. Jessica Beck, over to you. All right, Kate, thanks.